What's your preferred 3D modeling software? If you're an architect or an architecture student, you may say Revit, Archicad, Blender, SketchUp, 3DS or Rhino and Grasshopper. Obviously, we're not going to use everything at once, even though each and every software has its own advantage because of the time and effort it takes to master each one of them. So why do we need Grasshopper? That is what we're exactly going to deal with today. What's going on fellas? I'm Joe and this is Geo Creations. Let's jump right into the video. I'm going to share six advantages of using a parametric software. Before getting into the first point, let's see what exactly is a parametric software. So any software that deals with algorithms and mathematical data to make, control and manipulate your designs is a parametric software. Now let's see their advantages. Number one, it saves you a lot of time. We all know learning and mastering a software takes a lot of time and effort. But hear me out, it's totally worth it. Seriously, believe me when I say this, it's gonna save you a lot of time. I'm gonna show you two examples from some of my works. First one is a pavilion, which I did as a part of my thesis. So here's the final output of the pavilion. Let's see how to make it. Let me open the grasshopper file and then it opens along with Rhino. Here's the completed model. And the interesting thing is, once you completed the script, you don't have to worry about making changes. For example, this Voronoi pattern is completely random and if you wanted to change the randomness, you can just manipulate the seed of populate geometry. Likewise, you can increase or reduce the count or even change the border of this model. You can see how I used it in this model. Here is the boundary and the model is generated by itself automatically. See how much time it saves for us. Likewise, let me show you another example. This one is a conceptual project. I'm opening the file now. I've generated the main model using kangaroo physics. This could be another video on its own. And the thing which I wanted to show is the background. Everything you are seeing right now is completely scripted, which means you can change any aspect of this whole thing and the buildings are completely random. Let me show you exactly what I meant. See, here's just a bunch of lines and I fed it into the floater and that's it. Our cityscape is ready. If you want to change something, you can just go ahead and change it. It's that simple. And most importantly, you can repurpose it for other projects. My next project was also kind of similar. So I copied this code, pasted it here and fed a new set of lines and now I got a city within seconds. Okay, next number two, generating ideas. When it comes to generating ideas, people would usually brainstorm or do a bunch of scribbles or sometimes rely on external stimuli. But with a software like this, you can set a bunch of rules and parameters and then generate a bunch of iterations within those rules. Or sometimes it could just be random. We can easily play around with stuff without messing up your previous work because everything is interconnected. You can find similar workflows in Houdini, Blender, DaVinci Resolve and the most popular rival for Grasshopper, Dynamo for Revit. By this, you are not only saving time but also allowing yourself to experiment new possibilities. The most popular tool to do this is Galapagos and for more options, you can use plugins like Biomorpher and this will be a nice segue to the next point. Number three, AI and simulations. As I said, technically Galapagos is an artificial intelligence. To take it to the next level, you can use plugins like Faisalem, which has a brain of its own and acts like a living being, which can act and respond to the environment and the context. And doing climate analysis is a whole another thing. The most popular tool for that is Ladybug 
and honeybee which can do complex calculations and can optimize your design according to the physical conditions of your site now let's move on to number four visualizations Animation is one of the really cool but underused aspects of a parametric sofa. It's gonna help you a lot to visualize what's going on with your design or research with just a number slider. And of course, for presentation purposes, you can export your rendered animation. For advanced camera movements and for top-notch render quality, you can install V-Ray for Rhino and create something like this. What I did here is I made those two points interact with those spikes according to their distances. Another great example is kinetic facade. You can now exactly see every possible state of your design here. Okay, now let's go on to the next one. Number five, flexibility. Rhino, at least the latest versions of it, can handle almost all category of 3D models. That is, nerves, meshes, and sub D. Whatever you do inside Grasshopper can be baked into Rhino and you can manipulate it however you want it to be. You can link Rhino model with Grasshopper to make changes easier, and support for other software is definitely noticeable. You can export and import stuff from almost all known 3D software and continue your work there. For example, let's say you are really good at SketchUp and you want to do everything in SketchUp except for some specific thing. Guess what? You can do this in multiple ways. You can either export your model to SketchUp or sync both of them in your rendering software. This is totally doable with Lumion Live Sync. That's how I did this. I've made a separate video on it. You can check that by clicking on this i button or check the link in the description. And for Revit users, you can even do some BIM stuff with the help of Rhino inside Revit. And last but not least, number 6, Freedom. What I mean here is, every software has its own limitations. But here, the only limitation is our imagination and probably the learning curve. You can literally script anything you imagine with the existing components. When that's not enough, there are a lot of plugins to use. You can even create your own plugins. Here's what I've created. It's also a basic function by the way. It, it cuts through multiple intersections and I named it multi -trim. And you have powerful languages like Python and C Sharp to run your code and create something specific. So those are my thoughts and opinion on using a software like Grasshopper. Feel free to leave your opinions down in the comments. And if you want to get in touch, you can always DM me on Instagram at GeoGerwin. Links in the description as well. Leave a like if you learned something new today. Share this video with someone who finds this useful. That's it for today. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.